Hi, happy people! Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Kate and I make uh, sewing videos. And happy new year for you! I hope you had a really nice beginning of the year. I wish you all the best. And yeah, I'm really excited with, with this year. Uh, my plan, my goal is to uh, focus more on my channel. So I'm planning to be really consistent around here. I hope I can uh, do that. Um, yeah, but I missed a little bit of here for today I will share with you how I made a uh, lettuce and blouse uh, I really like this type of finishing so I saw uh, some uh, some tutorials and everything to um, understand how this works and I will share with you um, how, how you can make this finishing in your uh, overlock machine I hope you like this video if yes please uh, give a like and so I hope you like and stay tuned for more videos like this and another sewing content If you already saw my previous videos, you will see now a change of scenario. In winter my sewing room is a little bit dark and cold, so I decided to enjoy the sun and light of my living room. I'm a natural light type of person, this way I feel much more inspired and productive. For this shirt I made myself the pattern while I tested a program to make computer patterns, a CAD system. My plan is to share this pattern with you in the future. Let me know if you will like to have this or not. This amazing fabric is from Divasus. I will put the link in the description box. All the parts are ready to sew. It's a really simple garment with so less components. I always pick little pieces of fabric to test the overlock stitches, especially in stretchy fabrics, that I will only use the overlock to sew. You need to make sure that you stitch have enough elasticity for not to break. Let's sew, starting with the shoulders.
Now I will sew the sleeve on the arm wall. It's a lot easier sewing the sleeve open instead of closing the sleeve in the arm wall and then apply. Let's close the side seams. Finally, let's cut the neck band. I measured the neckline and I will reduce, reduce the measure in 10%. I always make the neck band shorter, otherwise will look totally open and not neat. I decided to cut in a different crane line than the other parts of the shirt to reduce, to reduce a little bit the elasticity and stay close to my neck. Keep in mind that you will cut like me, the lettuce hem will not look so ruffled on the neck like in the other parts. Divide the neckline in four equal parts and make part marks and make the same thing on the neckband. This will help to dress And now the best part, let's set up the overlock to make the lettuce M. My overlock is really specific, is a Toyota, but you can follow these guidelines and see where you can find these parts in your own machine. I will leave in the description another tutorial from Cool Stitches, she have a brother overlock. First of all, take, take off the left needle. Then, open the machine and reduce the number of stitches.
Reduce the wide of the stitch. I put the smallest possible. Maybe in your machine you can reduce even more. Now disable the knife. It's really easy, but I only had one end available, so I took a lot of time to do that. The tensions on the thread I use the following. And finally adjust the tension. The overlock is ready, of course. Try in little scraps before overlock your garment. To look ruffled, you need to push the fabric to stretch. It will roll a little bit as you can see, but this way it will look more neat without fabric fraying. Finally, I'm making the lettuce hem in the bottom, bottom of the sleeve and in the neckband. Look how cute they look!